Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to an episode of a Minecraft thing. I am here in my cherry blossom area, where I am not happy. I have been trying to make this episode for weeks now, and things just keep going wrong. That's weird. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, things just keep going wrong, and it's driving me insane, isn't it, LA? Hello. I either get ill, like I got a really bad chest infection, uh, I got distracted doing other stuff, uh, my file just straight up corrupted, uh, my most recent attempt, the audio did not work, so I'm going to finish the intro and double check the audio is working, because it's entirely possible it isn't. But, Avast, we have to go on. Avast? What am I, a pirate? Ah, Avast 380, let's go on with the episode. So we got these guys. So for those of you who don't know, on Halloween there is a small chance that zombies and skeletons and possibly their variations can spawn wearing a jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin on the head. So I've got these two guys, got Halloweener and Bumpkin. Uh, I was hoping to get one that had a jack-o'-lantern on the head because you can't get jack-o'-lantern ones at any other time of the year, but at least these guys are wearing anything so it's just a nice little memory. So you, that, that tells you how long I've been working on this for. Halloween. Today is the 17th of November. Anyways, over here. This is my flower farm area. I have been wanting to get a flower farm in here for ages, but due to many factors, I haven't been able to. But I now have one. I would love to have a video of me doing this, but I guess that's asking too much. So, they're pretty simple. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So for those of you who don't know, flower forests have what's called a flower map, which is essentially like a gradient over the entire biome that tells the game where to spawn the flowers, which means that every, every single block has a designated flower. So any time that you grow a flower on this block, it will always... <coughs> <coughs> Any time you grow a flower on this specific block, it will always be a white tulip. This one will always be an orange tulip. This one will be a pink... Is it tulip or tulip? Whatever. Pink flower. Um, meaning that I had to build these in a very specific spot, unlike, say, doing one in a swamp biome or a plains biome. And that was a difficult bit. That's one of the bits that was taking me the most amount of time, is trying to find the best spot to get all of the flowers exclusively here. And I believe I got them all. I hope I haven't missed one, otherwise that would be quite embarrassing. Let's quickly look at the redstone over here. So I made my own design. I don't know if this is like a standard design or what. This is an Eva Hopper Clock that has a single stone brick in it. And it will keep passing the stone brick back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Which will then power the stone brick. Which will then take the signal out and push these pistons over. Pushing the grass over, breaking anything that's on top. And then it will... We'll track those pistons, and then it'll push these ones. And it'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth. And each time it goes back and forth, it will also power the three central droppers, or dispensers, sorry, with, uh, which are filled with bone meal. I also have a few hopper lines going down to, uh, like, put bone meal into the system. It's probably overly expensive and kind of dumb, but I also couldn't be bothered to figure anything else out. So it's... whatever, it works. So... That's the flower farm part, and it's ridiculously fast. Honestly, it might be too fast. I might have to slow it down, because the, imp the item output, or the collection system, is going to be using a laze. Because usually with flower farms, it's kind of hard to, like, have a collection system. The only options you've got are either a minecart, sort of, higgledy-piggledy underneath, or just collect them yourself. But using a laze, I should be able to have manual collect or automatic collection just whenever. And the way I'm going to do that is down here, we're going to have a, uh, a a note block which has water on top. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't work because there's water on top. I'll think about it. Uh, the plan is to have a uh, this oh, I'm Oh, that's really throwing me off. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the plan is to have a little gazebo in the centre, which has a note block that's constantly going boop boop, boop boop, 
beep boop every so often, which will then have the LAs just chucking all the good stuff onto here. But that might not work because of the water here. So the water is just to get the items over to the storage area. The water connects down underneath the ground through here, over here, diddle diddle diddle, up this tube, and then goes into some item sorters over here, which has all of the nine, uh, nine flower types and also the seeds, just because. So. Oh, I thought I was so close to being done, but no. Okay, how do I sort this out? Okay, this should theoretically work. Oh, it's not a great noise, but I can change the block beneath. I don't love the design, but it's at least something. So now the LAs will try and throw it down there and end up doing that. Oh, I need that back. Got it. <laughs> There's some natural light down here. Okay. So now, if I just put in, say, this 36, let's just put in, like, 9 dirt for now. Perfect, okay. Okay, that should be fine. I can just cover this up now. And I can just decide on the instrument. I think it's alright, we'll go with that. So then I just put in the water, and there we go, perfect. So now it's just going to be a case, so this is functional then. Oh, this is functional, what? This is functional? Is this done? It feels like it took forever to be done, and it's just like, oh, it's done now. Well, technically it's not done done, but the functionality of it should be done. So let's quickly do a little test. Uh, did I bring any means of duplicating my allays? I don't... Okay, I need to quickly go back to my base and get some allay stuff. I have the duplication materials. So now I just need to grab some... Let's do... Ali... Ah! Aliam! I need two flowers. Uh, and we'll do Lily of the Valley. She so do a Zubalek, and then the same section. Boom. Get, get down here. Get down. It's hard to do this when I need to bop my head. Got it. There we go. Okay. Tunes are done. Okay. They should be linked now. Theoretically. So let's do this. Oh, this is, uh... This is far too fast. Okay, but they're throwing the items in. Look at them go. Into the hole. And then over here... There is... Currently, 50, 51, 52, 52, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, here's the issue, is overflow. Got a few overflowing, but that should be fine. So, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely slow down the farms, just so the LA's can keep up, because, look, they're still going, and it's like... It was on for like two seconds. Well, maybe ten. You aren't meant to be giving them to me. You're meant to be giving them to this. You gotta link up, bud. What? Did this sing? Ah, that's an issue. Okay, there we go. That should be better. It's not pretty, but it should work now. <laughs> Oh god, LA's. How I experience them. No! Is this, this must be too slow. Let's quickly, uh, just. No, get out of the hole!
I built this. I like it. It's nice. I've sort of combined the initial house and these sort of things. I don't know what you'd call them. To make a bigger one. And I quite like it. So we've got the main entrance here and then this bit that juts out, which I think really helped uh, with the flatness of it. And then on the inside, I experiment with a new floor I've never done before. This is chiseled bookshelves and beehives. And I think it looks really cool. It's a really nice colour. I might even extend it further along and replace the birch. Because this is just lovely. A lovely shade of... It also breaks really easily. Anyway. Uh, I've kind of gone for the normal rafters and pillars that I normally do. But getting to work in colours that aren't brown is very nice. Though it's obviously not done in here. It's a bit dark too. I need to light it up. And then he'll be my... So over here is the flower storage. And then he'll be my just regular generic storage. Yeah, it's getting on. Well, kinda. The back of it is still looking a bit... Well... It's not exactly... Pretty, is it? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out how to... Get this tumor to not look stupid. Okay, I don't really know what I was worried about. This is fine. Let's just quickly go into the air. Yeah, that's that's fine. Got a bit of a booty, but oh, I've not done that side. But this area is starting to starting to come together. Sumi's arrived. My cat has arrived. Hi, Sumi. Okay, she's she's somewhat settled. So, an issue I've been running into is lighting up the roofs. I'm so used to my base over at Stockholm where part of the roofs are jack-o'-lanterns, so I've never had to actually figure out how to light a roof before. At least not one of, like, this sort of shape. So, what I've done for over there is just place down, like, some lanterns, but that's not gonna... I think it's just not the solution, you know? So I'm gonna have to do some experimenting. I tried a bunch of things, but lanterns were ended up being the best option. <laughs> but for now, I wanna do some detailing, like terraforming and such, so. Let's go. Look how cool this place is though. It's like a completely different area, it's insane. But I just did a little test, and I have... Oh, this is VLA giving out a bunch of seeds, look at it go. They go down to the creek, and then they go over here and get filtered. Right now, there is a bit of a bottleneck over here in the... Oh, can you not do bamboo? Uh, yeah, there's a bit of a bottleneck over here. These were quite full before. Let's just quickly turn on. Let's do a quick uh, demonstration of this place in action. Okay, that's all the farms on. I have added an extra, uh, an extra item to all of the clocks, so it's half as slow now, which is fine. Half as slow, half as half, half as fast, half as slow. It's slower now. Look at them just absolutely yeet those items in there. Neon. I love that they throw them individually. It's very funny to watch. Oh my god, guys, calm down. Uh, I've also turned off the note block noise because it was driving me nuts. I couldn't deal with it. But here they are, just going mad with it. Sometimes they will throw the item down and instantly re-pick it back up again, which is annoying, but it's not enough to, like, leave it so the items despawn, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I have an LA for every flower type. I'm, do I have a red tulip one? It's kind of hard to tell what they're holding. 
because they zip around so much, but there's a red tulip there, so I'm guessing that means that someone must be organizing them. The seed guy is not enough. I might have to have more seed guys, but at the same time it's seeds, so I don't really care that much. But let's go inside and have a quick look at the items going. As you can hear over here. Yeah, look how full these get. It's not too bad, but if I left it on for a while, it would cause a problem. If I go up, can I, like, see the... There it is. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? But I'm getting plenty of bone meal. Not enough to actually keep the farm aloft, but it should at least do for now. Let's see how much bone meal is actually left. Uh, three and three and two thirds of a stack. Sorry, two and three thirds. Two and two thirds. Maths great. Woohoo! And I think oh, I just, I just love this place. It's so nice to just sort of chill here. Maybe I'll get a few more cherry blossom trees in here. I don't know. I I quite like how this place looks lovely at night. It didn't help. It's raining right now, so that's fun. But I've added in a few more flower fields. And I've also started connecting a path over this way. And I plan on having more farms around here. For example, I'm going to need to have a tall flower farm somewhere. But they're really easy to set up, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then if I keep following the path, over here is the start of a train platform. Because I want to actually connect up this area to the rail network. I've designed the redstone for the train system for this section. I haven't designed the actual building yet though, so I'll get to that in a bit. But I do want to connect it sooner rather than later. But future expansion is a future me problem. So I hope you all enjoyed. I had a great one. Uh, I think this is a really fun area. I'm glad to work in different colour scheme than normal. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!